What up folks, Graphics Rookie, and welcome back to another Rome 2 online battle. Today I'm playing as the Gete, and my enemy is playing as Macedon. Macedonia! He's brought some ballista to the battlefield, which I thought was kind of weird and dumb and a mistake. Bringing ballista in a multiplayer battle is just never a good idea. It's just, they're useless against people who know how to, how to counter them. Just like pikes. He also bought a lot of pikes. And pikes can be useful if... They can be, but not in the way this guy's using them. This guy's using them in a completely defensive manner. And now out, out here, you see me, I'm, I'm splitting my cavalry off. And both on the left and the right flanks. I got my three mercenary uh, Thracian cavalry, my skirmisher cav, out in the far right flank to see what I can rustle up. And it looks like he's been hiding a bunch of cavalry over here, hidden in the woods. And I see this and I'm like, mm -hmm, I'm gonna pull right back. And he's gonna try to chase after me, but that is not a good idea because these are skirmish cavalry and they are deadly against melee cavalry. Look at that, he already pulled back because he knew he was not gonna be able to chase them because skirmish cavalry are just faster. And with this now, now his cavalry are running from my skirmish cavalry. In my skirmish cavalry, they're faster, and the javelins are armor-piercing. They're just, they're, they're kryptonite to melee cavalry. And that leaves me open on my left flank to, to swing these spear horsemen out, because I know there's no cavalry defenses in this area, because, I mean, looking at what he has here and looking at what he has here, he can't possibly have any uh, reserved, um, cavalry forces to face these guys so I can easily try to flank him around I'm bringing my main line down I got a whole bunch of mercenary axe warriors some noble swords for my generals I got some armored spears here some heavy spears on the right some more armored spears from the main line I got a few Dacian heavy bowmen some mercenary Thracian peltists and I'm just making mincemeat of his archers his archers or I'm about to be yeah oh boy these archers suck Archer is just playing suck. He should not have brought so many. And look at that, he gets a few good shots at me with his ballista, but it's just not gonna be enough because I am I'm already starting to put the pressure on his cavalry. I'm putting the pressure on his flanks. As you see here, I'm I'm really putting the pressure on his flanks. And I'm already really close. I'm out of range. I mean his ballista can't even hit most of my units in range anymore. And now I'm gonna sit my main line of the swordsmen up here, and we're just gonna wail on these pikemen. We're not even gonna bother fighting them. We're gonna wail on them with our javelins, our peltists, and our heavy bowmen back here. We're just wailing on these pikes, and they're just... They can't do anything about it. If they're just gonna sit there, they're gonna get slaughtered. This is, n this is not the way to use pikemen. Over here, I'm putting the more pressure on his cavalry. Look at that, we are slaughtering his cavalry. He's already this guy's already down to 44. He split off a couple more cavalry to try to stop my spear horsemen from coming into the back lines, but one of them got away, and he's now hitting the Greek ballista. And now my spear horsemen's fighting the citizen cav and this. Uh, well, one citizen cav now he's got to get uh, done up by that uh, hoplite right there. But the other cavalry chasing down my spear horsemen, but it's too late. His boss. His bastard is gone, and now I'm I'm nipping at the back heels of this thorax pikeman, and I'm just waiting for these guys to start turning around. Because the moment they start turning around to face the threat on the back lines, that's when I run in my guys over here. But I guess I decided to run them in because I wanted to keep them from turning around, or probably because these guys were so thin, I thought I could just bust through anyway, even with the pikes out. But over here, this guy, uh, these, this guy has no, has nothing to stop him. He can just go down here if he wants, but I'm just not thinking properly, I guess. Over here, he looks like he's split off a few more of his cavalrymen to try to swing around and smash right into my missilemen over here, but it's not going to do them so good because my, my cavalry and my, uh, spearmen are now converging into this area and we're just going to raffle stump these, uh, these citizen cavalry. Yeah, they, they just don't, they don't got a chance here. We're just completely envelop, enveloping them in a clusterfuck of battle. And we've busted through the main line here. There is just, his main line is crumbling. He's just plain crumbling. Over here, he's got his uh, royal peltists on my mercenary Thracian peltists. 
Not good for my guys, but at least it'll keep them occupied for a while. Over here we got, uh, I wasn't paying attention over there apparently. Over here I'm trying to chase off his archers to stop them from hitting me. Over here I'm slaughtering more of his cavalry with my spears. Some of my units uh, just were ran running off to try to chase off these archers because I didn't want them pelting me and I'm starting to bring these guys back now. Well, look at that, we are completely just enveloping his lines now. We busted through the front and now we're just we're just having our way with the remnants of his pathetic destroyed army. They are nothing to the might of the Gete. Macedon will soon will soon bow. We slaughtered the cavalry over here. His cavalry is done for. Well, he's got one relatively decent unit over here, but it's just not enough. All my cavalry is still accounted for. I must have ran out of ammo, and that's why I'm uh, that's why I'm running around charging with these guys. So that must, uh, they must have ran out of ammo, but they did their job. They did their job effectively. Now these heavy spears are going up against these hoplites. I should have had them in hoplite wall. Or, no, do they even have hoplite wall? No, they don't. They have shield wall. I should have put them in shield wall. Shield screen, I mean. But it doesn't matter since we're slamming them with our, uh, with our spear horsemen right into the backs of these guys. Completely enveloped these guys, destroyed them. Completely enveloping uh, the remnants of his army. He's got all these annoying little archers that are still alive, still causing little bits of annoying trouble, but nothing too bad. I uh, put up some flaming shot to try to make his men run faster, but it only made my men run faster. I did it because he's on the red. He was on the red. I thought I could maybe get rid of him faster, but nah, I just made my pelters go. But they're still yellow. They're still just a little. Now they're red again. There's just they're just an inch away from, just an inch of morale away from completely breaking them. These guys, these hoplites, they're completely surrounded. But they're holding up, aren't they? Yeah, one rain of uh, fire should make them waver pretty decently if I could get that. These guys are starting to come back, but it's it's slow going. They're routing. Yeah, they're wavering. This battle is all but over. We're just sweeping up the remnants. He's making uh, some of my guys rout, but now we're backing up with these heavy spears and the citizen cavalry doesn't have a chance. Over here, the left, or my right, has been completely uh, wiped out. We've completely wiped these guys out. We're wiping these guys out one at a time, and now, now, all these remnant uh, archers and hoplites in the far flanks are just wavering and they will begin to crumble shortly. That was a glorious and epic battle. Fine, fine battle from a fine, fine opponent. He made a few mistakes. I made a few mistakes. My my micro still isn't the greatest. I still haven't uh, really learned the hotkeys to make myself faster. And uh, computer lag can also account for that a little bit. Uh, the Greek ballista, it's just no, it's just, there's no use in bringing artillery weapons on a land battle in multiplayer. They're just, they're useless because player knows how to deal with them can just make them useless. They only got 65 kills. You know, how much did they even cost? It cost too much to be 65 kills. These guys got 75 kills. Yeah, they were just pelting me. I just wasn't uh, putting my mind on them. We slaughtered all their cavalry. The cavalry didn't get many kills. This guy got 83. That's a decent amount for him. Look at that. The pikemen got hardly any. This pikeman got zero kills. This pikeman got 16. 29 is the biggest uh, number of kills for any of these pikemen. Yeah, he uh, he just misused this army. He brought too many archers. He brought too many citizen cav. He shouldn't have brought the ballista. I thought maybe I brought too many missile units in the, but in the end, uh, it didn't really matter. Uh, 78, 76, Damn, none of my soldiers got over 100 kills. No, no, I, yep, yeah, here's one soldier who got 100 kills exactly. This Dacian Bowman is the MVP of this battle. Good on you, Dacian Heavy Bowman. Good on you. I lost 600 men. Yeah, I lost more than I should have feel like if I had been a little bit more careful with these horsemen I didn't have to lose so many but 
Dems the way, dems the bricks. Anyway, I am your graphics rogue, and I will see you next time. Peace.